Now the following clips just show sort of a brief overview of a gorgeous little girl who uh, was in kindy, so she hadn't actually started school. Um, I was going into this kindy for uh, three, uh, two or three times a week because um, I was working with different children, but they had at the most 20 minutes a day for three days over about three or four weeks. Now in the very first clip, she's in pink, she's called Lara, I couldn't pronounce her name. You can see she's got poor phonemic awareness because even though she's fully engaged, she's really looking at me. And in fact, it's really useful because she's not looking at the other children to see what they're doing. I can see she's got poor phonemic awareness because when I ask her to listen for the sound and wiggle her fingers, she can't. Even when I really stress it. So she's not hearing those sounds in words. And that's really important because that's to do with phonemic awareness. And phonemic awareness is the biggest predictor of reading and spelling failure there is. You must check children for phonemic awareness as soon as they start prep. Luckily for this gorgeous girl, we overcame her phonemic awareness difficulties before she even started school. Emma! Emma! That's my name, so what are you going to say tomorrow morning when I see you? Good morning! Emma! Emma! Fantastic! Oh my goodness me! So what we're going to do is we're going to say good morning to everyone and we're going to say the first sound in our name. So I'm going to say good morning. Good my morning. name's Emma and the first sound in my name is A. A. Emma. Well done! A. 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 The first sound is A. 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 Emma, that's A. right. So can you tell me what your name is? So you say good morning. My name is Emma. Is your name Emma? No. Piper. What's your name? Piper. Piper. What a lovely name. So you say good morning. My name's Piper and my name starts with a with a sound. Then what are you going to say? Good morning. Good morning. Emma. My name is. What's your name? Lara. My name is. La, is it Lara? Or Laura. Lara. Lara. And and what does it start? What's the first sound in your name? La. La. That's the letter name. That's what's what's the sound? Ooh. Ooh. That's it. That's the sound. Oh. So my name is. Is it Laura? Lara. 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 My name is Lara, and the first sound in my name is. Oh, what's your name? Nico. Nico. Oh, that's a nice name. Nick. Do you call yourself Nick? Is it Nick? Nico. 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 Put them on your lap. Oh my goodness me. So if we sing that at the end of the session today, will you remember it? That's our song and that's our special song between us. So remind me, what was my name? Emma. And what's the first sound in my name? Emma. Well done. Right, show me your fingers. High, low, middle, low, high. Okay, now wiggle your fingers and stop. Them. Now when I'm going to say, I'm going to say lots and lots of words and you've got to listen. This is all about listening. And every time you hear me go, I want you to wiggle your fingers. In fact, when, yeah, you're going to wiggle your fingers. Are you ready? The hat. On the stand. Don't forget, wiggle your fingers if you hear me go. The hat. On the stand were so hot they stuck to my head. Wow, who heard in that first word in hat? And wiggle where you hear that sound when I say the word hats. Are you ready? Hat. Was it at the beginning of when I said it or at the end? At the end. It was at the end, wasn't it? Listen. Hat. Ready? Hat. What about this one? Snake. Was that at the beginning or the end? Yeah. Was that at the beginning? Okay, Miss Laura, I'm just going to put your name on here. Okay, what's the sound? What's the sound?
What's this one? What's this one? Cover. Okay, listen to the word. No. Ready? No.
of melon. Can I get some? Come and get a lovely piece of melon. Right, if you sit down and you... Who can spell this word? You've got to give me all the sounds in it. Who can spell this word? program from Read Australia. Our office is in Hope Island on the Gold Coast in Queensland, but you can do it from anywhere in the world. If we wire children's brains for reading and spelling before they even start school, we can change our whole society. We can ensure that every single child is a reader before, well before they start year two. Thanks for watching.